Hello, hello, namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me, Online Yoga School Virtual Studio. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable, easy seat. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your pose. As we are using our seated position to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that the tummies are tucked at the navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of the body with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we gaze the eyes downward or close the eyes, if that feels good for you. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we breathe the palms and heart center coming into a seated prayer, maybe the thumbs are touching the sternum, the center of the chest, if that feels good for you. Relaxing in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our palms to the sides of our bodies, connecting our palms to our environment, taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in the present moment. And during the session here today, you may hear noises and sounds. You may become distracted. However, may you only allow in what is comforting and soothing to you and your practice here today. Two more breaths. As we flow the palms above the head in a salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens, feeling the shoulders flow up towards the ears. Spinal cord is nice and elongated, interlacing those fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing the arms to flow slightly towards the back. You'll feel this slight back bend in your lumbar spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. We are channeling in positive energy, hope, and inspiration. Welcoming in what is ever, what is serving and beneficial to us in our lives. As we allow to flow out what is no longer serving us, Understanding and realizing that change is definite. Things, people, situations will come and go. May we, may we welcome in. May we allow to go. May we allow to receive. Gazing the eyes down. Two more breaths. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come down towards the earth. Gazing over that right shoulder. Seated twist. Going deeper in that twist, connecting this left hand to that right knee, if that feels good for you. I'm going to hold this for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly out towards the side. In our extended mountain, our palms are above our head, but they are not together. Extended mountain above the head, slightly out towards the side. We are in that star. As we twist the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder, seated twist opposite side. Optioning to go deeper in that twist by taking this right hand to the left knee. Three more breaths. Two breaths.
Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. Flowing into that salute, palms together. Exhale into extended mountain, separating the palms. Allowing his right hand to come downward towards the earth as we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that side bend. Feeling that left arm flow over the head. You'll feel it stretch here in your side body. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. <sighs> Breathing that right arm over the head as the body leans towards the left. Side bend, opposite side. Coming nice and deep in this side bend here. You'll feel this in your side body. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, both palms are connected to the earth. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. In a diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. and a butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So taking a moment to feel, taking a moment to see what bound position feels best for you. Connecting the hands to the feet, keeping the heart chakra open and the chin up. As we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades, coming into a cow pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room, tucking the tummy in at our navel, three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our bound position. We're going to slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel us here in your inner thighs. So only go on down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. As our shoulder blades melt forward and our head relaxes downward towards our feet. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing back up to our bound position, either our diamond or our butterfly. Using our hands to bring our knees inward, straightening our feet, coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel in front of us. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Backs are straight. Shoulders relax downward, away from the ears. As we are gaze forward. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we flow our palms above our heads in our salute. Breathing to our prayer, palms heart center. Slightly hinging at the hips, half forward fold. If we want to go deeper, we can bring our hands to our ankles or our feet. Coming into a complete forward fold, allowing that torso to come closer to the thigh, head melts down towards the knees. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold if we were not there. As we come back into our staff pose, lifting our right leg up in the air, right knee is in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. As we cross this right foot over this left thigh, we're going to bring this right hand behind our back, fingertips facing away from us. Doing that spinal twist to go deeper in that twist, crossing this left elbow over that right knee. As we are gazed over that right shoulder, Sage Marici three, filling his spinal twist and this nice stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale. 
exhale back to center, uncrossing that leg, coming back into that staff, hanging at the hips, half forward fold, or flowing down to that complete forward fold, whatever feels best, three breaths. Exhaling up, coming back to that staff. <clears throat> As we lift this left knee up, left foot is flat on the earth. We're going to cross this left foot over this right knee, this right thigh. Bringing the left hand behind our back, fingertips facing away from us. Feeling that spinal twist, gazing over that left shoulder. To go deeper, we can cross this right arm over that left knee, feeling that nice deep spinal twist. Gazing the eyes down or closing them for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, arm crossing that thigh, coming back to our staff, breathing our palms above our heads and our salute. Exhale to prayer, palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from our ears with the palms at heart center, relaxing in silent meditation for natural breaths. Breathing our feet up, we're gonna cross the feet at the ankles. We're gonna come into a tabletop, flowing onto our hands and our knees. Palms are flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna drop down to our cow. Tummy comes downward towards the earth, feeling that curvature in our number spine. Chin is slightly up. This cow pose is great for lower back pain. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat. She comes to clavicle. Spinal cord flows up towards the heaven. Cat pose. Three breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table, as we breathe our right leg behind us, feeling that stretch, extending that left arm forward, we are in that sunbird pose as we are gaze forward. Balancing and strengthening here, four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back the bird. Knee to elbow. Back the bird. Knee to elbow. Back the bird. Two breaths. Flow into our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. <sighs> Coming back to our table. As we extend our left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Extending that right arm forward. We are in that full sunbird. Tummies are tight. Gaze forward. As we are balancing and strengthening here. <sighs> At any time, if we need to lower our toes downward towards the earth to find that balance, that is A-OK. -okay. We can keep that leg towards the back. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. 
Exhale, the knee to elbow, fill in that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Coming to our table. Sorry, flow into our cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding pause, shifting weight forward, high plank. Building strength. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Exhaling to our Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. The Sphinx pose here is a slight back bend. Ensuring that our shoulders are away from our ears, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body. Chin is slightly up, three breaths. Flow into our baby cobra, bringing our hands next to our torso. Coming to our cobra, straightening our elbows. Breathe up, dog. Untucking those toes, taking those thighs off the earth. Chin is up. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at the feet. As we flow to a three-legged dog, lifting that leg up in the air. Exhale the knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. We're going to walk our dog, pedal on our feet. Finding pause, three-legged dog, opposite side. Bringing that left leg in the air nice and high, feeling that stretch. Breathing that left knee to that left elbow. Back to three-legged. Left knee, left elbow. We are building strength. Back to three-legged. Left knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhaling down dog. Dropping down, coming to a dolphin pose. We are on our forearms with our buttocks high in the air. Maybe walking our feet closer towards our torso, noticing the buttocks comes a little higher. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Dropping down to the knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels best for you. Allowing that heart, allowing that heart chakra to come close to the earth. Allowing that forehead, the third eye chakra, to connect to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Gaze in the eyes, stand with a close in the eyes. Five breaths of silence. Spinal wave in our bodies out of our position, using our hands to push our torsos forward and pushing our buttocks towards our heels. We are waving that spinal cord, allowing the head and neck to flow 
And to the movements as well, feeling this through the entire spinal cord. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at table. Drop into cow. Exhale, cat. Flow into table, push your body up to down dog. Walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Feeling that full body stretch. Allowing that head to melt downward towards the feet. Breathing to half forward fold, slightly gazing forward, backs are straight. Tummies are tight, three breaths. <sighs> Yogi walking the feet slightly apart, creating that stance. Breathing back down to a complete forward fold. Maybe widening the stance a little more if that feels good for you, coming into a slight wide-legged forward fold. Optioning to grab the elbows with each hand, lowering it to ragdoll. We also can rock or sway the body from side to side in our ragdoll, noticing how that you'll feel this behind your legs a little more, your hamstrings when you sway. Whatever feels good for you, forward, fold, four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center here, we're going to come to that wide legged forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles, head melts down, two breaths. Breathing up to half forward fold, connecting this left hand to this right knee, cross body stretch, wrapping this right hand behind our backs, how we do when I thread the needle as we gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling this cross body stretch twist, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, half forward fold. As we breathe this right hand to this left ankle, wrapping this left hand behind our backs like we do when I thread the needle, gazing over that left shoulder, cross body stretch, twist, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, half forward fold. Breathing down to a complete forward fold. Exhale up to half. Coming up to our Tadasana, nice and wide legged. My apologies. Nice wide legged Tadasana. With our toes pointing outward towards the edges of the mat, we're going to bend our knees, coming into cactus hands, goddess, god stance. We are now working the lower parts of our body, building strength. We're going to hold this four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to pulse our body up and down here in our goddess, working additional muscles in our legs. Finding our pulse, we're going to rock our body from side to side, four breaths. Finding pulse at center, exhale, Tadasana, blowing into a star, breathing our palms above our heads, out to the side, standing star. Heart chakras open, chin is up, taking a nice breath in, exhale, four breaths. Two more breaths. 
bringing our palms together above our head, bringing our feet together, standing salute. Exhale down to prayer, palms come heart center. Here in our standing prayer, we're going to relax and soothe here, gazing the eyes downward, taking a moment to go inward, noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, allowing our feet to be planted, to be grounded, to be rooted into the earth. Understanding and realizing that where we are going, we are flowing, we are growing, we are becoming big and big. We are doing our thing here. We are creating the lives that we always wanted. We are creating a happiness that we already had. And we're just going to keep that happiness flowing and keep that happiness going. How do we do that? We do that by allowing to come. To, we do that by allowing to what belongs in our lives to come to our lives. And we allow this to flow out of our lives what no longer belongs to us. Happiness is being okay with change. Of course, change is hard and sometimes it's not easy, but allow what is meant to be to be and allow what is no longer serving us to remove itself from our lives. This creates happiness. It's not trying to hold on to things that is no longer meant for us and allowing in new things, welcoming in new things, this is how we grow. May we relax here and hold this thoughts to silent meditation for breaths. Exhale, relaxing our palms at our side. We are back in our Tadasana. The palms are at our side, standing tall, feet together. Bringing our hands behind our backs, interlacing our fingers. Slightly hinging at the hips, keeping those hands behind our backs as we are gazed forward. Pulling this half forward fold with our bound hands, meaning the hands are behind our backs and they are interlaced. Allowing the head to come downward. Flowing into that complete forward fold, keeping the hands bound together. Allowing those bound hands to flow up over your head. Feeling that stretch, just allowing those arms to flow above. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the eyes. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold, relaxing those hands by your buttocks, slightly gazing forward. Exhaling up to our Tadasana, we are in our bound Tadasana. Relaxing our hands to our side, Tadasana pose. Breathing our palms above our heads and our salute. Exhale into extended mountain, separating those palms as our body as our body leans to the side, standing side bend, slightly gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Exhale and back to center, standing side bend, opposite sides, feeling this flow in your side body, gazing up at the heavens. If that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Breathing the palms together. Palms flow to heart center. Standing prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Hinging at the hips. Keeping the palms at heart center. Feeling the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Backs are straight. Gaze forward. Two more breaths. Bending our knees, coming into a chair prayer, hands, chair prayer, optioning to extend those arms in front of us, extended chair. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. 
Two more breaths. Breathing those palms in, prayer hands. As we twist the body towards the right, to your pose twist, three breaths. Exhale back to center. To your pose twist, opposite side. Exhale back to center, two more breaths. Breathe, complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the feet, the ankles, the knees, allowing the head to relax down. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Relaxing here for three more breaths. Walking the hands forward, bringing the feet together, down dog. Exhale to three-legged dog, lifting that right leg up in the air, feeling that stretch, gazing at the foot. Exhale, breathing that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip as we flow into a wild thing. Feeling this nice deep stretch. This is a nice deep back bend as well. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to down dog. Three-legged dog, left side. Lifting that left leg in the air, feeling that stretch. Gaze at the foot. Breathing that left foot to that right buttocks, opening up the hip. As we flow into a wild thing, feeling that stretch opposite side, wild thing. Nice deep back bend. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to down dog. Flow into a high plank. Building strength, tummies are tight. Hmm. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a child's pose or a puppy pose, allowing the body to relax and soothe. Torso comes between the thighs, heart chakra connects to the earth. Third eye chakra, forehead connects to the earth as our eyes gaze down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward. Breathing our palms together, coming into a child's pose, puppy pose, prayer, hands. As we are taking nice, subtle breaths here, may we allow our mind and body to relax. Silent meditation, six. Natural breaths. Extending our forms in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Puppy pose, feeling this spinal wave here. Allowing the head and neck to flow into this spinal wave. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our paws at center, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're going to come onto our buttocks. As we flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position, recline knees to chest. 
Hugging those knees into the chest. <sighs> Allowing those shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. As we extend our legs up in the air. Legs on the wall poles. Toes pointing up towards the heavens. Reaching our hands to the backs of our legs. Bringing our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Legs to torso stretch. Three breaths. Exhale, legs back up in the air. Breathing knees to chest. Allowing the knees to flow towards the left. Recline, spinal twist. Feel when that spinal cord relax and decompress here. You may even feel a crack as we extend this right arm out towards the side like a lowercase t, gazing up at the heavens or gazing over that right shoulder. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale and back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Allowing the knees to flow towards the right. Recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Decompressing that spine. Left arm flows out to the side like a T. Gazing up at the heavens or gazing over that left shoulder. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging knees into the chest. Keeping the knees in the air, feet are flat on the earth. Using our feet to lift our buttocks up. We can place our hands beside our buttocks, flat on the earth, palms flat on the earth. Interlacing our hands underneath our buttocks, if that feels good. And walking our shoulder blades to our spine. You'll notice that your pelvic floor comes high. Your tummy, your chest is high in the air, and we are squeezing and lifting and rounding that gluteus maximus. And we can pulse the body up and down, or we can stay still and just pulse it up and squeeze it. We are rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus here. Six breaths. Mm. Mm. Four breaths, feeling that burn in the gluteus maximus. Buns of still. Three breaths. Two breaths. Squeeze it up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze. Feeling that burn. Bonus two breaths. Squeeze it nice and tight. Uninterlacing those fingers. Untucking those shoulders. Breathing those knees into the chest. Squeezing them in. Lifting the legs up in the air, legs on the wall, pointing those toes up towards the heaven. Reaching the hands down to the lower parts of the legs, breathing the legs to the thighs, breathing the legs to the chest. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Two breaths. Exhale, legs up in the air. Breathing knees to chest. Exhale, Shavasana. Legs are parallel, side by side. The sides of our feet are connecting as we allow our feet to flow to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs here as the shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. Eyes of gaze, eyes of gaze down and closed. Mind and body is relaxed. As we are going inward, allowing the day to 
melts away. Or maybe we are preparing ourselves for the day. Whatever this session may be for you, either a wind down, a midday session, or a preppy your mind and body for the day session. May it be what it needs to be for you. Allow it and accepting what is needed, what is for you. Without hesitation, let it come. Without hesitation, let it go. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, allowing the body to relax and soothe here for three breaths. Slowly wiggling the toes and rotating the feet at the ankles. As we use this top hand to push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose, any seated pose of choice, I'm going to come into a cow face legs. May you find a seat that feels right for you and your body. You can also option to stay relaxed in a reclined position or in a fetal pose. If we are sitting, ensuring that our tummies are tight at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body, keeping that spinal cord nice and long, keeping that arch and that posture nice and straight. Shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Chin is slightly up. Eyes gaze down. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. Thumbs rest on the sternum, the center of the chest, if that feels good. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much. Until next time, you have a great day. Peace and blessings, love and light. Thank you.